it would be easier for them to manage those challenges uh, if you saw countries like China and other emerging economies soften their link to the dollar. Because if they, if they do that, they'll have a little more flexibility to manage those inflation pressures and not risk uh, you know, getting behind accelerating inflation. That's Tim Geithner, the U.S. Treasury Secretary, speaking here at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. And the people who gather to hear Mr. Geithner speak uh, and world leaders like him include my next guest, Don Gogol, the CEO of Clayton de Billier and Rice, one of the world's oldest private equity firms, manages about $10 billion. Uh, Don, let's talk about the opportunities in private equity and really what the picture is like right now. The U.S. economy is improving. The health of U.S. companies is notable, really, right? You have earnings growing very quickly. They all have access, or many of them have good access to the debt markets. Does that make it harder for you to find attractive investments? No, you have to remember, private equity is a very opportunistic uh, pool of capital. It's transitional capital. It works uh, in unusual circumstances. If everything's good, if everybody's happy, if everything's growing, Maybe private equity doesn't have the same uh, opportunities. That's really not the case mm -hmm. today. There's uh, a muted optimism that uh, is welcome, but uh, certainly on a sector by sector basis and on a geographic basis, there's still plenty of difficult uh, times ahead. Okay, so people look at the big picture and feel good about it. You're looking more narrowly at some of the smaller pictures. You see more reason for caution than perhaps uh, the numbers will suggest we're going to get fourth quarter GDP today. It could be higher than 5%. Yeah. I think GDP growth is uh, going to surprise more on the upside, and I think that's probably true in uh, whether you're in the high-speed lane, the middle lane, or as people have described, the slow lane of what's happening now in the Eurozone. Uh, that notwithstanding, if you look behind the, the, those headline numbers, uh, there's still some structural imbalances. We've got fears of inflation. We've got fears, uh, certainly, of spikes in commodity prices. Uh, consumer uh, sort of strength of, of uh, buying is fickle, to say the least, and in some countries by no means has returned. So you know, it's still hard to project, and you know, really that's what good investors do. They've got to look through the current difficulties and look to the long term. Ultimately, private equity is a medium to long term asset class. We don't trade on today's news. We're looking for what the world's going to look like in five years. There have been two very successful private equity backed IPOs the last few days, uh, Nielsen Holdings and Bank United just last night. Uh, is that going to, you know, does the fact that the, the, the IPO window appears to be opening for private equity, is that going to drive you to bring more of your companies to market this year? I think there's no doubt that we and others are going to uh, take companies that we have invested, built slowly and built management teams and, and market share. Those uh, that are ready for the IPOs, you're going to see that windows open and private equity firms are always inclined to hit it when it's open. How many companies do you think you might take public this year? Well, we've got uh, two or three that uh, I think we may have equity offerings, but still too early to tell, and we'll watch and see how the markets develop. Uh, and one last thing for you, Don. Uh, private equity uh, you know, gets a bit of a bad rap when it comes to job creation. Uh, is private equity creating jobs, or is, you know, is, is it really what, what people believe, uh, ultimately a process of not job elimination, but um, you know, it's not the same when you're trying to restructure a company, is it? Well, you know, we uh, sponsored, the, uh, the World Economic Forum sponsored a very long study that looked at 26,000 uh, private equity transactions in the United States over a 20-year period. And while it doesn't make headline news, uh, the results actually were quite encouraging on the job front and enough cer certainly for me to say I think private equity is a positive engine in uh, job creation. It's a complicated message because during the initial periods of restructuring, private equity is attracted to industries that are going to restructure with or without private equity. So in the initial couple of years in troubled situations, there will be a job loss. But what the, the data shows is that private equity ownership after an initial period of uh, job loss makes up for it in the next sort of two or three years. And if you add in the greenfield, that is sort of a new store opening, new warehouse, private equity then outperforms the non-private equity uh, owned companies in the same sector. So again, long-term asset class, job creation, patience, but private equity will do its job to create jobs. Don, thanks for joining us here at the World Economic Forum. With that perspective, Don Gogol uh, making the case uh, for private equity as a job creator. Deirdre